Okay, this video is aimed at students who are in the final preparations of their M1 revision schedule. And what I've done is to just make a list here of all the modeling assumption questions out of recent past papers. By all means, if you find another one, can you please let me know, comment on this video, and then I'll, I'll add it to the um, list that I've got here. But basically, what we've got here, let's go and actually have a look at this, the sort of question that we'll get, is it's one of these sorts of questions here where normally only a one marker and it will ask you to, to consider the model that's been set up. So in this case, it says, state where when you're working, you've used the fact that this string is modeled as being lights. Okay, so if the string is light, we can come back to this list now, Light string should mean that tension is going to be the same. The tension is, is constant throughout the string. Um, this business about being constant throughout a section of the string was from one particular question. What I'm um, advocating is that you would always go and look at the mark scheme to see the correct language, but the bits in blue here, pretty much if you've got those bits, then I think you're going to be okay when it comes to your answer. It's only one mark question. Let's have a look at... Um, another one here, explain the how you've used the fact that the diver is modelled as a particle uh, on this one, show how um, you've used the information that the P is a smooth pulley. So this list of, what have I got, five of them are the ones that I've seen so far. So if it mentions an inextensible string, that means the acceleration is going to be constant throughout your model. If there's a smooth pulley, then you're allowed to say that the tension's the same on both sides. Considering an object as a particle means that the mass will just act at a single point there. If a beam is modelled as being a rod, then it means it doesn't bend. And if a light string, that means that tension is going to be the same throughout a section of the string is the way that I would put it to make sure I absolutely get my marks. So, yeah, very brief video, but just... This is the sort of thing I might look at just the night before the exam, really, and just make sure I've got all those ones in my head so that if it does come up as a paper, you can just quickly go through, scribble down that little bit, and then answer the question properly at the end. Right, hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys. Take care.